condors. Hello, animal lovers. Today, we are going to learn all about condors. You can read along with us by downloading this lesson plan from our website, learnbright.org. What is a condor? A condor is a very large black bird with triangular patches of white on the underside of its wings. At around nine feet, the condor has the largest wingspan of any bird in North America. They have a ring of feathers around the base of their neck and have gray legs, and they weigh about 20 pounds. Usually, with birds of prey, the female is larger, but female condors are actually smaller than male ones. However, that doesn't mean the females are petite. Sometimes, condors get mistaken for small, distant airplanes when they are flying. Condors have a bald head and neck, an adaptation for hygiene. When they fly at high altitudes, the condor's skin is exposed to ultraviolet light, which disinfects it. This makes them resistant to disease and infection. And they have powerful stomach juices for digesting decaying flesh. Depending on the bird's mood, its skin color ranges from yellowish to bright reddish orange. When their skin changes color, it is also a way for them to communicate with other condors. Imagine if your skin changed color based on your mood. Condors are similar to their cousin, the stork. However, the condor's feet have adapted or changed to be more helpful in walking. For example, Many birds of prey use their talons as weapons, but not condors. Instead, they have an elongated middle toe with straight, blunt talons. This makes it easier for them to walk around. What do condors eat? Wild condors can travel up to 150 miles a day for food. As a result, they have vast territories in which to find food. Condors eat carrion which is the decaying carcass of a dead animal. Condors prefer to feast on mammals like deer, sheep, goats, donkeys, horses, pigs, mountain lions, bears, or cows. But they will also eat the bodies of smaller animals, like rabbits, coyotes, and even reptiles. You might think that what condors eat would smell really terrible. But lucky for the condor, they don't have a sense of smell. Instead, condors have sharp eyesight, so they soar high above on wind thermals looking for dead things. They also find carrion by looking for other scavengers who cannot rip through the tough hides of larger animals. Condors use their sharp, hooked beaks and powerful jaws to yank, pull, and tear meat from a carcass. They will also intimidate other scavengers, causing the other scavengers to leave a carcass. Except for bears and golden eagles. Bears don't care if a condor is around and will ignore them, and the golden eagle will stand its ground and fight. Condors need vast areas of undeveloped land to find food. In the wild, they are intermittent eaters. Condors will go somewhere between two days and two weeks without eating, and then gorge themselves on meat all at once. In fact, sometimes condors eat so much that they can't lift themselves off the ground to fly away. Other interesting facts. Condors are very particular about cleaning themselves, especially after a meal. They preen, which means they straighten and clean their feathers with their beak. They also use pond water to clean and dry themselves for hours. If there is no water around, they use rocks and plants as napkins to help clean their bodies. Condors are very social animals and like being around other condors. In fact, they can form strong bonds with each other, just like you form strong bonds with your friends. And they are very playful and curious, which might describe you as well. Condors love to play fight, preen each other, or get together and inspect new things they find in the area. When it gets hot outside, condors don't sweat like we do to release heat. Instead, they poop on their legs. While this may sound disgusting to you, 
it is an effective way for them to reduce their body temperature. The scientific name for this is urohidrosis. Why are condors important to the environment? Condors are like the cleanup crew of the wild. They are great for the environment because they eat animal carcasses that could transmit diseases to humans, wildlife, and livestock. In other words, when they eat the carcasses, they help prevent disease outbreak. We can stay healthy because condors do the dirty work. Condors are also sensitive to certain toxins and pollutants, so they bring attention to areas that may be ecologically unhealthy. Condor populations decreased because of lead poisoning, poaching, and habitat destruction. In 1987, the population had gotten so low that the U.S. government captured all the wild condors and put them in captivity to help their numbers grow again. Recently, there are now enough condors that some of them are being released back into the wild. Talk about some cool facts about condors. Let's review to see what you remember. Why does the condor need vast land areas to find food? Condors travel up to 150 miles a day in search of food. They need undeveloped land to find food. True or false? One of the reasons that condor populations decreased was because of habitat destruction. If you said true, you're correct. Choose the word the author would say best describes the condor. A. Minuscule. B. Aggressive. C. Dull. D. Endangered. E. Predator. The answer is D. Endangered. Well done, bird brainiacs! Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.